Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Nika and welcome back to another episode of Keeping Up With Nika. Guys, today this video is gonna be a little bit different, guys. I decided to go get my nose pierced today, guys. I am super scared, like you don't even know. <laughs> I'm having anxiety right now. I just feel like the nose is going to hurt so bad. Although I have got other things pierced in the past. I had got my belly button pierced twice. I had got my, um tongue pierced three times but i had to take that out due to certain jobs that i had i also got this part of my ears pierced twice as well because um the reason why i don't have it i'm sorry the reason why i don't have it anymore guys because i used to wear like a lot of headphones you know the old back in the day the little string headphones and it would get infected in a bump and it would never heal properly so i had to take those out um but i'm scared i just feel like this part of my body like right here the nose is just so thick and i'm just like terrified like what if the needle gets stuck halfway or what if she's like jamming it in there because it won't go through because this part is so thick like i'm just having anxiety guys but i'm gonna take you guys along on this journey with me guys i'm going to try to put some ice on there to numb it so i could feel the least amount of pain possible I've been doing my research on this guys. I have a couple of friends also that got it done and they told me like it's no big deal. It's like a little pinch. Like girl, it's not no little pinch. You know, a pinch is on the ears. Kling. This part is soft and tissuey. This is thick as hell. <laughs> There's no little pinch right here. But they've been trying to calm me down. I also watch other YouTubers videos just to see their pain, like their 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 impression of their face, what they go through, how painful it can be. I've seen a couple squints. I didn't see nothing too bad. So I'm going to just try to be a G. Like, I'm gonna try to just toughen this up. I got this. I got this. I decided to get it on the left side of my nose. Um, I've been trying to do research on like, what does the different sides mean? You know, if you do it on the right side, does it mean this? Does it, you know, I've been trying to do my research, um, but I decided to do the left. I think that's a nice side of my face. I guess that's the most side I take my pictures on. So I think you'll look cute over there, guys. So, and another thing too, guys, um, I had, options obviously to go to like anywhere to do my nose ring you know they do it at the flea market they do it at the nail salon i've seen girls get it done with a gun i be getting my nails done guys i see girls come in there and get their i think it's like 10 or 20 dollars they could do it with the gun right quick but i feel like this place ain't even sanitary enough to get your nose pierced and i don't want to end up with like one of those big old keloids them big bumps with pus i'm a clean person i have ocd so i'm going to be cleaning it properly with the salt sea salt water or whatever but um i don't think a nail salon is a place you should be getting that type of stuff done but i'm gonna take you guys along with me i have an appointment today at 12 30 i'm already ready i'm about to hit the road so guys pray for me and comment down below team nika you got this comment guys don't forget to like subscribe and share and i will see you on my way peace out yes guys i just stopped and got me mcdonald's this is a fish fillet sandwich with light tartar sauce and some fries guys i am on my way just parked up for a minute see you guys in a few hey guys i'm on my way i'm looking for the address guys right now i'm walking it is so pretty down here i'm on a place called south street in philadelphia and um yeah i'm just walking and enjoying the view not trying to be too nervous but i am trying to thug it out <laughs> you know your girl trying to thug it out guys pray for me uh but yeah guys i'm walking now so 
I'll see you when I get inside, guys. I hope they let me vlog inside. I hope they do. Some places are very strict when it comes to things like that. So I hope they allow me to vlog. I have my tripod stick right here in my bag. So hopefully they let me set up my camera so they you guys can see the whole process and my reaction. See you guys in a minute. Peace out. Good, thanks. So these are gonna be our basic options. They're all implant grade titanium. They start off at 35 for the smallest and they increase by $2 as they go up in size. Mm -hmm. So 35, 37, and 39. Mm -hmm. Just by color, doesn't differ the price. Mm -hmm. Same goes for the opals over here. Mm -hmm. Everything on a white pad is gonna be 14 karat gold, rose gold, or white gold. They're typically around 100 and up. They're all priced by design. Mm -hmm. On here is 18 karat. They are about 75 and up. And then right here is genuine diamonds. The smallest one being 120 and the largest one going all the way up to 800 because the size of the diamond. Okay. I think I want something out of there. Okay. What the, is the smallest one you have? It would be this 1.5. I have it in white gold, yellow gold, and rose gold. And how much is that? 125, I believe it is. Let me double check. Yeah, 125. Guys, so I'm here. She's getting everything ready. Um, I chose the rose gold real diamond. It was an extra $125 just for the diamond, guys. And then the back piece was 35. And then to pierce it was um, 50. So in total, I paid $190, guys. This is my nose before. Bye, pretty nose. I wonder if aftercare comes with it. I see some aftercare stuff there, but I don't know if it comes with it. I'll ask. But we will see, guys. I will see you in a minute. <laughs> It's about that time, guys. I'm about to get marred. <laughs> Warm water in its place. Which side are we thinking about doing? Left. That's all right. I'm gonna clean and mark it. I'm gonna clean the outside, then I'm gonna do a quick swipe around the inside. It's 2022. We're kind of used to having Q-tips up our nose. Yes. <laughs> you don't have any numbing? No. no. In order for a numbing like solution to work, it would have to be injected because it's, oh. it would only numb the top of like the outside layer and that layer barely feels anything. Now with tattoos, when you numb it, the, you're only tattooing the top layer, mm -hmm. so you can use numbing cream on that and it's usually pretty effective, mm -hmm. but you'd have to pierce yourself with a needle to inject the actual numbing cream for it to work. And you honestly don't need it. This mm -hmm. is an easy piercing. Yeah, that's what you're telling me. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so scared. Can I wrap my legs around? I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I had someone do that before. I'm just like, wait. <laughs> and is this something maybe in the that was your sterilizer that just went off? But is that something maybe in the future you might want to wear like a ring? Yes. Around? Cool. So I'm gonna put it in a spot where in the future when you do choose a ring, it will be a nice tight fitting one. Check it out. My nose is sweating. That's cute. Cool. Yeah, I don't think it's too far back, right? No. Anything closer, it'd be like a, a super, super tiny ring. Yeah. You want one that fits nice and tight to your nose. Nice and ring. tight, yeah. All right. All right. If you want, we can try it. Like Guys, she marked me. I saw this. I asked her for a numbing. I'm like, do you have numbing? My nose is sweating, guys. My nose is sweating. We will be fine. Honestly, the worst part is sitting there and waiting for everything to happen. Do you guys have ambulance on speed dial? I get a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had anyone have a heart attack, but I do have candy in case your blood sugar drops after your adrenaline spike, which does happen. Ooh. Not so much of nose piercing. Yeah, and if you want, we can play around with it. We can move it around a little bit if you want to see it somewhere else. Do you think it's too far back? Let me see. 
It's usually a lot easier to move the dot than it is to move the piercing after it's done. Oh yeah. <laughs> Liked your little dot that you did put. I kind of like that one better. It's literally like one millimeter in front of it. So, guys, this is the new. I, I don't think it could zoom in, but this is the new one. It's a little bit more forward. We're gonna do this, guys. I got this. I'm strong. Got this. <laughs> now I'm just getting your jewelry ready. I'm not gonna even look, guys. If I look, I'm not gonna let her do it. You're gonna love it afterwards. And honestly, this is the worst part right now, just sitting here. <laughs> I just said a prayer, guys. That's why my eyes were closed. <laughs> but she's the best, guys. You have to come here. What's the name of this place again? Noko Oi. Noko Oi, guys, in Philadelphia. Her name is Sam. Yep, right? Sam. Sam. Samantha. Samantha. She's. She's the best, guys. I'm going to leave her information in the description <laughs> below. She's very patient with me. Great customer service. I'm nervous and she's calming me down. I love it. <laughs> cool. All right, your jewelry is set up. That is going to be locked on there. I'm just changing my gloves for the final time. Okay. If your piercer doesn't change your gloves at least four times to a piercing. <laughs> Run. She changed her gloves. Like, very sanitary, guys. That's why I didn't go to the nail place where they do it for $10 with the gun. No. I went to professionals. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? So I'm gonna get it all lined up first, then I'm gonna tell you to take a nice deep breath. When you let it out slow, that's when it's gonna be in, okay? Alright, getting it all lined up. Alright, go ahead and take a nice deep breath. Let it out slow. Not too terrible, right? Keep breathing, you're doing great. Ooh. That was the hard part. Oh. Now we're just sliding your transfer pin in, a little bit of movement here, and breathe. She's in, now we're putting your back piece on. Oh, you're doing good. Shit. It's in. Now I just gotta put the diamond on for you. And you can't see the post. Ugh. Little pressure. Oops. It's in. I'm gonna give you a tissue. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh my god, that wasn't too bad. Wow. <laughs> it's quick. Ooh. The most pain is in your head when you're waiting for it to happen once it's over. Oh my god. Check this out. I like so it. So when you look up, you can kind of see the bottom a little bit, but in one month, come in, we'll put a super tight one on. You won't see it. Looks it. Good. I love it, guys. It's beautiful. Excuse me. Thank you so much, Sam. You're I welcome. appreciate it. <laughs> So guys, I'm walking back to my car now. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't. I'm going to do a review on how I really felt when I get home. But I'm going back home now. See you guys soon. Guys, I made it back home. Your girl thugged it out and I got it done, guys. It is so cute, guys. Um, I was having a little issue with placement. I don't know if I wanted it farther back. So at points, I, when she put the dot on my nose, at times I felt like it was too close to here. It should have been more down. But I said, you know what, she's a professional. She says, this is where it's supposed to be right in the crease of your nose. So that's where it is, guys. The pain, hmm, I'm gonna give it a, I'll give it a quick five, a quick five. Cause the only part, like I really felt like when I closed my eyes, guys, and I just felt, like my nerves rushing to that area because you know I guess the injury just happened so it's all rushing there to see what's going on the nerves so I just felt that quick sharp pinch for about I'll say 10 seconds and then it was done like my eye did tear up a little bit I, you know I feel good like I did it I did it I did it I did it she said do not change it for the next six months right now if you look inside my nose you can see the bottom of it which I really don't like um, but she did give me a shorter one she was so kind enough to give me a shorter one she said I could change it in four weeks so yeah guys she told me six to twelve months to heal so I'll be rocking this guys for a year because knowing me I'm not gonna want to touch it I don't want to play with it I don't want it to get infected 
but thank you guys so much for coming along with me i finally could write this down in my milestone journey that i accomplished this goal of mine don't forget to like subscribe and share and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video and guys you got most of you guys are coming to my channel and you guys are new subscribe guys don't forget to subscribe i come out with videos weekly the summer is going to be lit like Videos are going to be coming out maybe twice a week. I'm going to try. But guys, the more subscribers I get, you guys push me hard. I just want to let you guys know I appreciate you guys. Although right now, I think at the time I have 98 subscribers. I am super grateful and thankful for that because, you know, you have to start from somewhere in life. But guys, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.